way to a thrift store in a new area, uh, kind of changing the scenery from where I usually go. My my usual haunts, which I've been going to for years and years and years, but I've been watching the prices steadily increase to the point of just being extortionate and unrealistic and unreasonable. So we're going to, um, we're going to do a few things today. So I'm really excited to check out this new thrift store. It's not a new one. It's just like, it's like a Savers, but just in a different town, much further. We're going closer to Queens, basically. So it should be fun. So we are currently at a Savers. Maria, help me! Oh no! <laughs> Start here. It is different, I'll give you that. Naked wardrobe. You know what? I'm not hating this. It is a whole ass onesie. Let's check the price. It is eleven nineteen. Whole onesie. Starting to wonder if I should have gotten a cart. Some things, seeing things, some things. What are you? My CNC Music Factory. Okay, fine. I had to grab a cart because I kind of just ran in here. Yeah, I kind of ran in here and just started running towards racks, which is usually what happens when you kind of come into these places, especially if it's a new one and you're really excited. You just go thinking more rationally now grabbed a few things and um, we're gonna go through them in a second I'll show you <sighs> I had a breath because I got really excited <laughs> got with, like thrift store excitement there is a major major issue with overcharging when it comes to thrift stores like people are charging extortionate amounts above and beyond anything we would ever expect to pay in a thrift store and one way we can combat that if you're donating anything and the designer labels or the price tags are still on it take the price tags off if you've never worn it take them off if there's a designer label inside no matter who it is cut that label out so they, they can't google it and try to see what it goes for and then upcharge you for it we want to keep these prices back to what they were and kind of bring thrifting back to being a little bit more reasonable so cut the designer label out and if there are store tags still on it cut those off too i like the shape of this it has like a very art deco no more like art nouveau kind of look to it i just don't like that but buttons are easily replaced. Oh, this is nice. I like this a lot. It's a sweater dress. Check this out. Cut out shoulders. I say perfect for fall, but when it's chilly and you got chilly shoulders, that's kind of the one part you want to be warm. <laughs> What's this? I like a good turtleneck dress. In the heartland. Oh, why did I say that? <laughs> what? I don't like it, but I appreciate it. I'm a big fashion junkie, so there are a lot of things that I can definitely appreciate, but I would never, never, ever, ever wear. But you gotta appreciate it, you know? Somebody put the design and the effort into that. It's someone's art. I'm uh, far be it for me to bitch slap someone's art. Oh, this is itchy. 
You're gonna see a lot of that. Thrift store was definitely a success. I'm excited to show you everything that we got, but right now we are outside the witches. We're waiting to get in. A little crowded for a Wednesday night, which is a little bit out of the ordinary, but then again, it's, you know, it's getting into fall, so it's Halloween season. I'm excited to get in because they're doing gluten-free Pop-Tarts now, so. Halloween gluten-free Pop-Tarts. What do you think? Gluten-free Pop-Tarts? Yes. I am probably going for these because I want to go old school and I love pop tarts. I don't know if these are gluten free though. I need to find out. We didn't have dinner yet, so I'm getting dinner. I don't know which. I'm kind of torn between like the falafel sandwich or the tempeh BLT, but I really want to get the nachos. They do really good nachos here and they do really good drinks. I'm going to show you the drinks in a second. Um, I keep harping on about the Pop-Tart, the gluten-free Pop-Tart. So I know what that means, I'm gonna get cheesecake. Ah, uh, the witch's brew. <laughs> it's like a treasure trove of goodies. And I don't think that I've had a single thing here that I didn't like. The broomstick latte is definitely something magical, especially when it's super cold outside. I've been coming here since I was 16 years old, and back in those days, indoor smoking was allowed, so as you can probably imagine, a group of melancholy teenagers clad in secondhand black clothing, ripped tight, sat with hot chocolates, clove cigarettes, and chipped black nail polish. Those were the days. 20 years later, and I'm still going. Definitely a testament to the place. I highly recommend it. I love it here. I remember that we got a ice cream. Was like seven or eight. Brandon looked like I remember like doing it. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Oh yes, yeah, small like Yeah. Welcome to Moonlight Market. This is our Halloween event, which is an oddities market with vendors, performers, artists, and all those interested in all things macabre attend. They have three of these per year. You have Midsummer, Halloween, and then Krampus. Halloween is definitely my favorite. And this year, it was on my birthday. I do try to get the names of all the vendors though, so I can film them and then you can find their work. And there was a gluten-free baker there this year, and oh my god, it was so good. Black sesame cookies, pumpkin donuts, velvet whoopie pies. That's just the, just scratching the surface of it, but get in my face. Why gluten-free though? Because if it's not, the gluten makes my immune system attack my thyroid, and it's a never-ending attempt to murder it once and for all. Very on trend for the season. The people who attend get really creative with their looks and they really get into the spirit and I'm always all for a little bit of creative self-expression. I'm always too shy to ask them if I could film them properly though. Eventually I'll get up the courage, I know. Not yet. If you haven't noticed, I love Halloween decor. I love ghosts, I love pumpkins, I love bats, I love all of those things, but you can't have your house decorated like that all the time. I would if I could, 
but I unfortunately I live with other people who have different ideas and we have to be cognizant of others and blah 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 there's something about the color orange by the way and I don't know if I'm the only one that goes through this but orange is a very conditional color for me I hate the color orange most times of the year until it's in context with Halloween because in context with Halloween suddenly it's a beautiful color. It's my favorite color. I love that color. And then you extract Halloween from the occasion and I hate the color again. What is that? This is the vendor who made my moth piece from last year. If you've seen that last video from the midsummer event, you probably remember the moth piece. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. All of the moths here are humanely raised and they live long and healthy lives and they're able to progress naturally. And she can tell you the breed and story of every moth, which is nice because it connects you to the piece itself. I do love this doll a lot. And I frequent it and constantly come back and I find something new every time. I just, I really love immersing myself in this kind of atmosphere, this kind of environment. Just surrounded by macabre creations, the smell of fall and like that tinge of autumn spice in the air, probably from the fried dough. The trees are in full color, making their howling, whooshing sounds as the wind blows through it. And I'm just surrounded by interesting people who are just as excited as I am about everything. I just, I can't help but comfortably disassociate and just let it all envelop me. I know, I'm such an October baby. I love these events. So they're worry dolls, look. I'm your little worry doll and this is what I do. I magically remove your worries and make a happier you. Each night before you sleep, whisper your worries to me and then place me under your pillow and you'll sleep peacefully. So I love that. How great are these? So this is Mystic House. 